Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a very exciting video. And before I start talking about the video, happy 2017. Oh my God, this is crazy. Like I feel like I'm living in the future right now. I don't know, it's just, I can't believe it. Yeah, I hope you guys all have a great year. Let's just hope 2017 is gonna be better because 2016 was kind of a mess. And it was, it's, it's, it was, um, it was rough. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, today's video is gonna be a roundup of all my favorite beauty products slash random favorites of 2016 and just things that I've been loving. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I want to say I have a lot of products to show you, so stick with me, please. <laughs> First, I'm gonna talk about all my skincare products that I've been loving. The first thing is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I love this so much. I think I got it in September. And it's basically just a balm that takes off your makeup and it's just like, it looks like this. And you basically just take a little bit of this, you don't need that much, and you run this across your fingers and you just take off your makeup with this. And it just, basically melts off your makeup and I just I love it. It's not like oily. I mentioned this in my get and ready with me video so you probably have seen it in there but yeah I just oh, I love it so much. Second thing that I have to show you is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Um, this is a moisturizer of course but um, I've been using this a lot in 2016 basically every night and every morning. I love it so much. It moisturizes my skin very well. It's not oily again. It sinks in my skin pretty quickly and I don't know I just I don't really have too much to say about this but I just love it. Then I have a primer to show you and it's the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. Basically like, everybody has this but I have saw Nikki Tutorials use this and I was like I need to get this and I really like it. First of all it's like a really big container so it just basically lasts, lasts you a really long time and I do notice that my makeup stays on fairly long. I don't know, I don't really like look at my skin and see like, oh my makeup has stay on a long day. I don't really look at that and I don't really notice it too much, but I do really like it, so yeah. Then it's the Mario Badescu facial spray. Like, who doesn't use this on YouTube? Honestly, I love it. I'm like more than halfway down, I'm so sad. <laughs> But I love it. It's so refreshing and it sinks in your skin very well. <laughs> very refreshing. Then I have the Garnier Missler Water, which I've used all throughout 2016. I use this every night, every morning. I love it. It's just like a super big container. So like, again, lasts too long time and I'm almost running out. But I don't use it too much right now. I only use it for like, like, am I getting ready with me? I use this after my cleansing balm, just like for the sides of my face like my hairline and my neck so that's what I use it for but I really like this. Next I have to show you my favorite makeup products. First of all I have to show you the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette. I've used this all in fall like all throughout the fall time in like September, October, November you know but I just love it so much. It's looks like this first of all like can you look at this? Like, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. Like, the colors are just perfect for the fall. They just, oh, I love it. Like, I love this color. I love this color. I love the white. I love that one. I just love all the colors. And I just, I still use it right now, like, in the winter. It's so pigmented and it smells so amazing. So, yes. Next is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now... Again, everybody uses this, but like, it's so good. I put this on, like I bake with it, with like a beauty blender. And I do notice my makeup staying on a lot longer. Then I have the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Brightening Makeup Foundation. This is in the color um, Ivory. And this is like very good foundation, very good coverage. Not too much, but it's like, it's good coverage. And it is literally like the perfect color for my skin. So yeah, I use this every day. Like it's, it's really good. Then I have the Naked Skin Bright Ribbon Decay Concealer. And this is in the color Light Warm. I love this. Like 
this is just amazing. Like, everybody that talks about this, like, they're right. Like, that's just so, like, it has so much coverage. The color is perfect for my skin tone, and it's, like, it's done. It's, like, all out, which I'm so sad about, and it's, it's not, like, cheap. It's pretty expensive, but I do love it, and I use it every day. Next, I have two primers to show you. Now, I have the um, Professional by the Benefit and the Baby Skin by Maybelline. Now, I sh I show I'm showing you two primers because I can't really choose which one is the best. But I use them both like equal. I use this one a time and then I use this one another time. Like I just use them both equal. And I like them both, but like when I put this on, like when I put primer on or like a moisturizer, I don't really look at my skin and be like, with like primers, like I don't really look at my skin and be like, ooh, my pores look fairly small. Or like I don't notice that and I just put it on and I'm like, boom, there you go. But I do think my makeup stays on longer because when I didn't use primers before, like way back two years ago when I didn't use primers before and I put on makeup throughout the day my makeup would wear off off my nose and that still happens sometimes but I do feel like this really helps it like stay my makeup on <laughs> you know what I mean so yeah I love these and I have the Hula Benefit bronzer I use this every day it's amazing I don't really have too much to say about this because I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this, but it's just, yeah, it's great. I love it. It's just, it's the perfect bronzer. When I put this on, it looks pretty natural and it doesn't look too much like made up. You know what I mean? So then I have the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. I really like this one. Like I, it's so pigmented. The only bad thing that I have to say about this is that it breaks very easily. Like I broke this like in the summer, maybe. I don't even know, but I broke it and then I fixed it with alcohol, which worked but I put in too much alcohol and it made it like really soft and not like powder form. Like it's powder form, but it's like when I touch it and like it feels a bit too wet. And I have a brow product to show you, which is the Benefit Goo Fruit Brow Pencil. I've been using this every day. It's great. It's just so easy to apply and like you like boom and like there you go. Like it's just, it's the perfect shape and like then I have the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white. You're probably like, why are you showing this, Marie? This is such an old product, but like, I just like, I'm, I'm not just discovered it, but I discovered it like in the summer maybe, or like early September. I don't even know when I discovered this, but I bought it online and I really like it. Like it stays on pretty long and it does like, when you put powder, like when you put eyeshadow over this, it does stick to it pretty well. So yeah, I don't know. I, I really like it. And also use it like under my eyebrows too. So yeah. Then I have a eyeliner, which is the L'Oreal Super Line Ultra Precision. This is literally my favorite eyeliner ever. I haven't discovered any better eyeliner than this. It's so, so good. Um, I actually, the first one I ever got was like a while ago like two years maybe and I was obsessed with it and then I like it was out so I didn't repurchase it and it's just like so easy to apply like you're like let me just put some eyeliner on boom and there you go I don't then I have a mascara which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational I love this mascara so much it's like it like separates your lashes really well it volumizes them. Then I have some lip products to show you. So the first lip products, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I like them a lot because they stay on your lips the whole day. They dry matte, which I love, and they're pretty pigmented. So um, the only down point that I have to say is that when I put them on, it dries matte, but your lips do feel kind of dry. So I recommend before you put these on, first put a lip balm on your lips and then you apply this and it's it's just really good. So I have the colors 02, which is Stockholm. And I have the color Rome, which is this like berry kind of color. It doesn't look that dark in the bottle than it's on your lips. It's kind of lighter on your lips. So yes, I then I have the MAC Velvet Teddy, which 
I used all throughout 2016. I use this a lot in the fall time. I use it like pretty much every day. And it's just like the perfect nude color. Like it's not too dark. It's like, it's so beautiful. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't know if it's focusing or not, but yes, I enjoy this a lot. And then I have just a lip balm, which is the EOS lip balm. I think it's in Summer Fruit, but uh, it just looks like this. Again, it's might have been like an old favorite for some people, but this is like, I don't know. Um, I have three EOS lip balms, but I haven't had those for the longest time because I bought them like almost two years ago I think but I just love this one because it's pretty moisturizing it, it's not as moisturizing as like the baby lips because I love baby lips like I have a whole collection of baby lips I think I have 19 baby lips it, it smells so good like it ugh, I want to put it on right now but I have a product on my lips I have I have I actually have a baby lips lip balm on right now which is like one of the new ones it's like the holiday collection um, and I also put some like highlighter on my lips, but if you guys want to see a baby lips collection, like this video. Brushes to show you which, the first brush that I'm going to talk about, which I don't have any like singular brushes, like single ones, but I have the Real Techniques brushes. I use this all throughout 2016. I love them so much. I love the brush, like the blush brush, which is this one, this one. I love the blending brush, which is this one. I love the fan brush. I love this one, which is like the new collection. It's like the bold, bold metal brushes or something. Um, but yeah, I just love these. Like I, they're so good. They're so soft. They're they don't shed, so which is amazing. So I, oh, I can't live without these. Honestly, the thing I forgot to show you, which is a makeup favorite, which is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I use it every day on my brows whenever I, you know finish my brows with the um, with the Goof Roof eyebrow pencil but I oh my gosh I love it so so much my eyebrows basically just stay in place then I have the Eco Tools small brushes which are amazing it's like it was like a set I bought this in a set and like you just basically just need these brushes and you will survive they're perfect for anything and you just I don't know I love them and you can also easily travel with these because they're pretty small then I have all my random favorites to show you. I'm gonna go pretty quick right now. I'm gonna show you my random favorites. The first thing is my, um, what is this again? <laughs> my Tangle Teaser. It's not something very special, maybe a little bit boring, but like it's, it's different. Like it's not a regular hairbrush, but it's just, ah, it works so good. It brushes out my hair like no other. I don't have any tangles. I don't have any knots. I, I have a nail polish, which is the Essie Color in Playing Koi or something like that. Um, very beautiful color. It's like the perfect fall color. And I don't know, I just really like it. So I use this a lot in the fall time. Then the tweezer, I have a tweezer. Very exciting. <laughs> it's the Tweezer Man um, tweezer. It's like the small one. And I just love it because it's so easy to pluck your eyebrows. You just like go in like two minutes and you're done. And it's very pointy. So it's good for like the small little hairs. Then I have the Ariana Grande Ari perfume. Oh my gosh. Let me just talk about this. <laughs> Obviously I'm talking about this. But like the bottle is so pretty. Like the little puff puff or palm, whatever you call it so beautiful and smells amazing i use this every day then last two products the first one well the second to last one is this backpack i don't know which brand it is i think it's like regular asos i bought it from asos and it's just this small little black simple backpack and it's so small convenient it's the perfect like size and I use this every time when I go like shopping or when I go do something fun or whatever I don't use this when I go out when I go party and drink and stuff but I just love it so much and it's oh it's amazing I love it <laughs> and then last but not least is something maybe strange but I don't know it's from the brand atmosphere and it's a it's from Primark and it's just like this fluffy very soft, very warm, like, 
jacket thing like a card I don't know how to call it but it's just it's so soft and I use it well I don't use it <laughs> I wear it every time when I go downstairs right when I wake up because in my house it's pretty cold in the morning so I like to throw this on and I just no oh, I love it so much it's so soft and like so cozy and I just I love, I love it I also um notice that Aspen Overt on YouTube has the same one because she like wore it when she was vlogging so yeah it's pretty cool we have the same thing okay so that was the video I hope you guys liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel hi I'm Marie it's nice to meet you um and yeah if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do that well you don't have to but it'll be nice if you subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Tonight